I'm going to quickly go through the whole block system with you and tell you more or less how many exercises you're looking for in each one of those blocks. Let me start with the warm-up. The warm-up, you know some set warm-ups, and I highly recommend that you use one of the set warm-ups. The fundamental warm-up is the pelvic curl, spine twist supine, chest lift, chest lift with rotation. The intermediate warm-up is the roll-up, spine twist supine, double leg stretch, single leg stretch, crisscross. The warm-up on the Cadillac is the roll-up, spine twist supine, mini roll-up, mini roll-up oblique. You can do a roll-up top loaded, optional. Um, but it's those four definites of roll-up, spine twist supine, mini roll-up, mini roll-up oblique. Those are like set warm-ups. The footwork, we typically do the whole of the footwork series. The abdominal work block, we're looking one to two exercises, meaning you could do there, I typically, what we typically like to see is one that is an isotonic or dynamic contraction. What do we mean by that? Like the 100 prep or coordination. We're going up and down, right? We're going up and down. Whereas the 100, it's an isometric contraction. It's still, there's no change in the length of the muscle or the angle of the joints. Why is that important? Because an abdominal series or abdominal block that is all isometric is not good because we know from research that the muscle strengthens at the angle you're working it with an isometric contraction. Whereas isotonic, it goes through a full range of motion. Is isometric bad? No, it's just one type of contraction. So if you were giving an abdominal program, in the warm-up you did double leg stretch, single leg stretch, crisscross. Then you come to the abdominal work on the reform and you do the hundred. Let's just leave it at that because there's others that are isometric, but we aren't doing that. You did the hundred. I'd say that's not a balanced abdominal program because they're all isometric. We want some isotonic. So when you're doing your abs on the reformer, we would recommend one or two. If you're going to do one, well, then you can choose. It's either going to be the 100 or the 100 prep or the coordination. If you're going to do two, I would choose one that is isotonic or what we call dynamic and one that is isometric, meaning the 100. Are you understanding me? Have I lost you? No? Everyone with me? Okay. So abdominal block, one to two. Hip work, we do a series. So there we've already packaged it for you in a series, right? In the hip work, we've got, if you're doing the fundamental, we've got the frog. Down circles, up circles, openings. If you're doing the intermediate series, you've got down circles, you've got up circles, you've got frog, you've got frog extended. Everyone clear on that? Great. What comes after that? Spinal articulation. We do one to two spinal articulation. What have you got there? You've got the bottom lift. You've got the short spine. You've got the long spine. Those are options for you. Semi-circle. Those are options. We don't want you to do them all. We just want one or two maximum. We don't even want three. One or two. And this takes us, after spinal articulation, we go to the stretches. Stretches, we're just looking for one. Choose. Lunge standing. Lunge kneeling. Lunge forward. What you used to call the full lunge. Lunge forward. We're now calling it lunge forward. We will tell you, if we ask you, Sarah, in the exam, lunge forward, we'll say formally known as full lunge. Uh, after stretches, we come now to your question, Julia, full body integration.
full body integration, we're going to say two to four exercises. Two to four. Sakina, what could they be? They could be knee stretch, round back, flat back, up stretch to an elephant. That's nice. Four, right? You may want only two. Do knee stretch, round back, flat back, down stretch. Do knee stretch, round back, flat back, down stretch, and up stretch. One. You can, combination, two to four. Packaged nicely for you. Oh, yes. No, because that, what is your name? Siobhan, Siobhan from? And Venice. Venice up here, not Italy. No, no. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> Siobhan is from New York and from Venice. Um, Venice Beach, maybe we should say, then we won't get confused. Okay, she's asking, would we do like all the knee stretches? That's why we changed, Siobhan, the name of series to group. We no longer say upstretch series. We say upstretch group. The reason being, Julia, and this is a more recent evolution of the block system, the reason being is that there are too many upstretches. You wouldn't do them in one session because there's upstretch one, there's upstretch two, there's upstretch three. There are more. There's balance control in the mentor program, the master program. There's, there's probably eight or, or, or ten of them. It's just too many. That's why I say we just choose uh, one uh, from the upstretch group. But we regard the elephant. So you could choose one or two because the elephant's also from that group. So you could choose one or two from that group. From the knee stretches, we've got knee stretch round back, got knee stretch flat back, we've got knee stretch reverse, we've got knee stretch knees off, we've got knee stretch knees off single leg. You didn't learn them, but you learn them in the mentor program. It's too much. So, um, you know, one or two from each group. Okay, my, you're welcome. So after that, we go to the arms. The arms, we've again packaged it for you into a series. So you would do arms sitting series, arms kneeling series, arms kneeling side series, arms standing series, arms on the pedal pole series, arms on the F2 chair sitting series. So we've already packaged those for you, but that's where your arm work block is, right? Your full body integration, intermediate advanced, you may not get to, but there again, we would choose one or two exercises. We wouldn't even do four there. It's too difficult. We'll choose one or two in that block. If our client is not able to perform at a pace, we'd like to fill an intermediate FBI in there? Not, you know, uh, Stacy, where are you from? From Gig Harbor, Washington. Gig Harbor, Stacy, isn't that amazing? Look at people from everywhere. Uh, Stacy, you need to look at two things when you're giving the session tomorrow or Sunday. The one is the level of the client, and the second is time. Often, there simply isn't time to do an intermediate advance. But if you're working with a client tomorrow or Saturday, and they are, that person is definitely intermediate, can handle more intermediate advanced work, and you've got time, absolutely give it to them. But don't give someone who's clearly a beginner, and at, at a beginner level, and you're trying to give them the long back stretch or the tendon stretch or balance control front, it's just not appropriate. Rather, uh, spend a little more time on leg work because leg work is one of the blocks that you may have to leave out because of time. 
But if you are going to do leg work, you would either choose a series like the gluteal uh, lying side series or the kneeling series, which I saw you practicing today, right? And Sakina, Monique corrected you on that one, the order. And you think I missed that? No, oh, I didn't miss it. I saw everything and heard everything. <laughs> You're wondering if there are cameras around here, right? No, no cameras. I'm just, my radar is going all the time. And, um, or you could choose like the uh, lunge forward on the wonder chair or the step down back. Called it the backward step down, but now we call it the step down back. And the only reason we're changing these names, by the way, is for indexing. So when you go to the index, all the same exercise is listed in its many variations. Um, but there it's either a series or one or two exercises for the leg work. Often we don't have time for that one, so just leave it out. You've done a lot of leg work already. It's the one, I'm telling you, it's the one. If you're going to leave something out, leave that one out. Don't run out of time <clears throat> and not have any time for lateral flexion rotation and back extension. That would be, uh, that would not be good. Because then you're finishing with the leg work and then the, the end of your session just falls flat. Rather leave out the leg work and get into lateral flexion, rotation, and back extension. And that brings me to lateral flexion and back extension. Lateral flexion, choose one exercise. And back extension, choose one exercise. Now, is it sometimes you've got a bit more time, is it wrong to do two back extensions? No. In my world, and our world back extension rules. So you can do more back extension if you want, but I wouldn't do five back extension exercises. One or two is adequate.